Yay, we're free. Right, hello everyone, good morning. Today, excuse the fringe, today I am starting a vlog. I have five weeks worth of exams, fun. Um, actually, no, I'm kind of lying when I say five weeks. Three weeks worth of exams and then the, ooh, look how squid my fingers are, that's so ugly. I've got three weeks worth of exams and then two weeks worth of more deadlines, which are due, so, Essentially, it's up to me whether I want to make it five weeks worth of uni work or three weeks and get my deadlines done before. But, thought I would start vlogging again. I was looking at my channel stats. Hmm. They're interesting. Um, my engagement rate on YouTube is terrible and you can obviously see that from looking at it, like I don't get many views. But you know what? I don't really care. I thought I'd address that. <laughs> um, oh my god, my fringe. Um, and I was thinking about how I wanted to take my channel forward the other day. I have got a job lined up for once I graduate. And I was like, where am I going to take my channel? My parents and stuff have been asking me that. My friends have been asking me that. You know what? I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to make it very casual and very chilled. And if you actually care about me, or you actually care about watching what I want to put up, then that's fine. You can watch me. But it's just a bit fun for me, really. I'm never going to be a full-time YouTuber because that's not in my, like, personality you know I'm not somebody who needs to be this is not an offensive thing but like I'm not somebody who needs to be a celebrity or anything and like I don't think I could really hack it so it's literally just a hobby for me so if you want to keep watching keep watching and I'm just gonna vlog my life that's what my channel is pretty much gonna be I will do hauls and things intermingled but you know it's very chilled so just just think of my channel as like an amateur YouTube channel, OG YouTube channel, just doing my thing, okay? Today, I'm vlogging my life because I'm revising. Yay! It's my last few weeks of uni and I thought I would give myself something else to do apart from revise and make some YouTube channel videos whilst I'm doing that. This week actually is going to be quite interesting because I've got quite a lot going on for uni but also for YouTube. So I've got an event tonight, I've got a talk tomorrow night which will be really interesting i'm basically talking to a lot of people about uh how to grow your social media like uh, platforms and stuff like that don't know if i'm the best person to do that maybe get saffron barker or someone in to do that because but you know i'm, I'm doing that tomorrow night so yeah um outfit today is so casual no makeup because who wears makeup when they're studying nails Nails have been like this for the last couple of weeks. How amazing are these? They're done by Millie, my friend. Um, this is week two, no chips, nothing. Absolutely amazing. White top is from ASOS. This cardigan is from Fashion Nova, I believe. And my joggers are from, where are they from? I think they're from Pretty Little Thing, but they're really comfy. They're just quite short on me. Like if I go like that, you can see that they basically come below my knee, but they're so comfy. Really happy. That's my outfit. Jason's gonna pick me up in a sec. We're gonna go to Harriet Watt University to study. I go to Edinburgh, as you probably may know, but um, Jason goes to Harriet Watt and you can drive there and park there for free, whereas Edinburgh is in the middle of the city centre. So you can't drive there, you have to get a bus and it's a big effort. So I'm gonna go to Harriet Watt and study, plan my talk for tomorrow, how I'm gonna tell people yeah, I've been talking for nearly five minutes. Say good morning to the Doug. She walked through a sewer yesterday. Good one. Well done, Kira. And she stunk of uh, sewage, uh, as you would expect. So we had to wash her yesterday, but we didn't have any dog shampoo left, so we had to wash her with human shampoo. So now she smells amazing, but she keeps sneezing um, over her own scent because it's far too perfumed for her which is a wee shame but we'll get you some doggy shampoo soon look at her Mwah. hi i'm just currently getting ready for the event tonight. It's like a launch event for this new student membership basically at the film house in Edinburgh so I'm just getting ready at the moment. I'm not going to do anything too dramatic. I've done my face makeup and my eyebrows and I'm now just going to do a little bit of eye makeup but nothing crazy. I think I'm going to use the Beauty Bay palette, the 
Jordan Lipsicum one. Which one is this? Like the Onyx one I'm going to be using just to do like a very basic kind of like brown, more brown eye look. And then I'm going to wear like a smart casual outfit. Nothing kind of wild. I put some eyelashes on and stuff like that and then I will be done. So essentially all of today I was working on the presentation which I'm giving tomorrow at um so basically the presentation I'm giving tomorrow is for college students who are studying makeup and it's about how to grow their channel and how to grow their Instagram not that my Instagram's actually big in any way shape or form but as much as it's not got a lot of following I do kind of understand a lot about it I just don't necessarily want to be Instagram famous so you know maybe my opinion's valid Maybe even if it's just what you shouldn't do, I don't know. But that is what I worked on today, I just created my whole presentation. I've obviously done presentations before at university and stuff on various topics, but I've never done one that's kind of like a, a decent length of talk. So the ones at university are only ever like 10 minutes max, sometimes even only five, but this one obviously has to be a solid like half an hour um, to 45 minutes. So. That's interesting. I've not practiced it and I probably will not practice it, but I'm thinking it'll probably be about that because to be fair, once I got started making it, I realized there's a lot you can talk about. Kind of like my skin. I don't think it's coming across very well on camera, but I do kind of like the skin. It's not really matching the, uh, my actual color, so I'll put some bronzer on that so that we match head and shoulders. But right now I'm just gonna curl my hair Hey, so outfit is so edgy. I feel like mm, proper YouTuber edgy. But wearing this, oh, you can see my bra, bra, great. Oh no, I don't like that. What I'm wearing, this is from Femlux. It was sent to me, you know, like half the YouTubers in the world get sent Femlux stuff. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's like a jumpsuit, but casual and put some trainers with it. So yeah, it's like one of those one shoulder kind of deal. And then, Trainers cause comfy. Ooh, ooh, and it's not the most um, fancy thing, I don't think. Saying that, I'll probably turn up and it'll be like ball gowns. But this is what I look like. I'm gonna head to the event now. I don't want camel toe. So, we've just been giving a tour of the, like, behind the scenes of the. Like how they put on movies. Yeah. So they got like the digital and then obviously you've got analog, which is the OG movie. But we're getting like a little strip of an old film, which is so cool, super retro. But this is basically the control room for the movies. They do the adverts and they put together the old films. They were basically saying that some films are put together in like chunks. <laughs> So basically some films are like in chunks and they have to do this quick like turn around, overlap um, and you're watching the film and you have no idea that they're trying to frantically overlap these two films or two sections of the film together which is crazy. <gasps> Thank you so much! This is like an old strip of movie, how amazing is this? Look at this, this puts all DJs to shame. Massive. Emmy, say hi. Hi! <laughs> this is behind the scenes of the... The trailers, look at this, how snazzy. Can't be my hand. No, we're getting the VIP tour. They're going to have to wait on us for the film started. It's like old. Check this. The sound. As possible. So we've had loads of exit trails already, so I won't bore you too much. Um hey, so I am coming home from the event right now. I had such a great time, but I actually feel like ass right now. I have the sorest head, I feel like I'm gonna be sick, and also my stomach's really really sore. Like that's basically the same thing as being sick, but I don't know what's happened. I've had two glasses of wine, so that's probably caused the sore head, but like I have my dinner, I have my lunch, I don't know what's going on, but I feel so crappy right now. I held it together during the film. I want to say sorry to Emmy because I'm sure I was okay, but I don't want to, I hope I wasn't being like, I wasn't being Debbie Downer. I just wasn't feeling that great. But the tour of the studio, or the, not the studio, but like the behind the scenes of the, how they produce films, I don't know how to say it, like how they like 
put on films at the cinema. Not actually like the directing and the filming, but that was so interesting. So lovely of the film house to have me. They have invited me to the um, film festival, which is amazing. I would love to go, but uh, I'm in Mexico, which is a shame. But thank you to them for inviting me to this evening and also to the film festival. So, wow. Good morning everyone, it's the following day. I've just woken up and I am gonna vlog today. This is gonna be a two day vlog. So, not wearing any makeup today, classic. This is just like a run, running thing. I never wear makeup during the day if I'm not doing anything important. So, I'm just gonna be doing some revision today, a little bit of prep for my talk tonight. But first of all, I want to show you what I got in my little like, what do you call them? like bags they give you when you go to an event. They always give you like some goodie bags to take away. Um, so I thought I'd just show you what I got in my bag if you were interested. So I got this really cute bag, which actually I'm gonna take down to London with me because um, I'm gonna rep the film festival. But also it's huge. This is perfect for like shopping and stuff and it's a really sturdy bag. Obviously you don't need to use plastic bags if you've got a big one like this and I'm sure it'll scrunch down to a really nice size. So first of all, <laughs> Emmy's giving me back her, my clothes because I gave her some stuff for a party. So actually it's not the fullest, it looked really full because it had all the clothes in it. Um, this wasn't, I knew I got this because this was the strip they gave us when we went backstage or behind the scenes. Um, I think it's like a Bollywood movie or like an Indian kind of vibe. Very old fashioned, but anyway, we've got this, which is super, super cool. And I want to try and get a place where I can put this on display. Um, just cause it's like, I don't know, it's really nice. Then we have some, some flyers and stuff for upcoming events. You know, always get a little bit of that. There's another one, ah, another one. I love the graphics on that. That's really pretty. Then we have, oh, I didn't finish these. We got these at the, when we were watching the film. They're actually really good. I usually hate watermelon sweets, but they're really good. They're really fizzy as well. Ooh, then we have this cool notebook. I guess this was maybe to take notes, but I didn't use that, so. But look how lovely that is. Such a nice design, very pretty. And then I have this little message. So it just says, we'd love to see you again love the film house so I'm guessing there's probably going to be some sort of I don't know actually let's open it up oh these are actually for later this week I'm um, gonna have to get my boyfriend or something to come with me this is for the Stepford Wives has anyone seen this film I don't know but I've just got two more tickets to go and see a movie at the film house what's so special about the film house in my opinion I don't know a lot about movies but I do personally love movies the film house shows films that are not just current it's like one of these cinemas there probably is a name for it but they show like retro movies they do um they do like film festivals this is where the film festivals held so they show movies from decades they show movies within certain like genres so they have like an event for like I'm completely making this up but like war movies um they also show films that are actually on film and that sounds really silly but like nowadays films are just like a digital um like, like they're just digital they're sent to the film houses like Odeon and Cineworld and stuff they're sent via um either like a hard drive or they're sent via like like electronically and you just play them like putting in a dvd or putting in netflix but the film house they show films that are literally on things like these so you can see super old movies are more of an experience and they're more authentic and if you're a film lover which I wouldn't say I'm quite a film lover, but I'm definitely into seeing what's on the cinema. And I think as I grow older, I'm definitely gonna make an effort to look out and watch old films. When I was in Barcelona, I was really heavily into films from Spanish um, culture. I'm rambling now, but like, I really appreciate using films as a medium to learn. Um, this is me getting all educational. I'm not somebody who reads books. I'm gonna admit that. That's probably very uneducated of me, but I don't, I can't read books. I can't read um, books from like, like really, really old books because can't understand the language that they speak in. But movies for me really speak to me and for me they're the way of learning about um, events and learning about 
like cultures and I did that in Spain I learned so much about Spanish culture and about Spanish history through films so I think I'm gonna get into that now in British like now I'm back home because I loved it in Spain I don't know why I didn't continue on when I came home today after nothing I took the dog for a walk and that's about it took the dog for a walk and ate lunch like by the pond which was quite nice and Jason joined me my sister's now getting ready for her ball her like uni ball so I'm helping her get ready and then I'll take her in the car and drop her off for like the pre's and stuff and then I'll come back and start getting ready myself I'm feeling a lot of pressure for tonight because well obviously I'm talking but secondly it's to like makeup artist students so uh, I feel like I've got to make an effort with my appearance otherwise who's gonna take advice from someone who is crap at makeup and then claims to be a makeup beauty blogger Ready? Right, get inside. I've dropped my sister off. Look at me, I look like a granny, an actual granny. I am in the house alone. Parents are away um, this week actually, they're on holiday. So I'm going to make myself dinner. It's only like 10 past four, but I'm hungry and also I'm feeling in the mood to film today. Like an actual video. So, Okay, I'll keep that out. Hmm. Yes, yes. Health. According to my new refreshed how I'm going to look at YouTube. If I want to film, I'm gonna film. And I'm gonna film. Great motto, Caitlin, well done. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do an assumptions. That was requested ages ago. I asked for like, what do you wanna see on my channel? This was like three months ago. And somebody said, do an assumptions video. So gonna do that whilst I get ready. And controversial choice, but Hawaiian. Can't do polls on YouTube, but that'd be really interesting. Let me know if you're a Hawaiian um, kind of person, or if you are, if you think that's weird. Ooh, gonna take the bins out. Yes. <laughs> oh, what? Who's put like a film book in here? But you guys can't wait till I move to London. The vlog content's gonna be premium. Maybe I could go for like a Mrs. Hinch vibe. No, actually, I'm totally lying. I could never do Mrs. Hinch stuff. Would you like to focus? So I have just done my makeup. I filmed it, which was so bizarre. I was actually using my big camera, which is crazy. Not used that in a while. I'm now going to head to the place where I'm doing my tops. I think I'm gonna drive there as well because I'm not gonna be drinking alcohol. I don't want to drink alcohol. I would embarrass myself if I drank alcohol. This is what I'm wearing. I've got my top, crop top on from Topshop. It's got these cool little circles. I'm loving this vibe, circle vibe. Got this necklace, which I cannot remember for the life of me where it's from. My headband is from Topshop and my jeans are from Topshop. I'm just gonna pop a belt on them so that it looks a little bit more together. Oh, and my boots are from ASOS. I love them, they're really cool. That is me, I'm going to head there now. I don't know how much I'll vlog when I'm there, but yeah, if not, I'll talk to you when I get back. M minimum, I will do a pan of the room. So yeah, bye. Finished my talk. I think it went okay. Say hi, where are you? No. <laughs> this is the room, Beverly's left. It was not just these people. You wanted it? Wait, where is this? Is, right, not, where are you? Sister Snatch! Right, Paul is me. These are the girls that set me up to, to chat. <laughs> Done my talk. It went really well. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it went like, it went like a 7 out of 10 if I was to rate it. I feel like I blabbed a bit and I lost my, lost my like train of thought quite a bit. Which is a shame because then it doesn't feel like you got your point across very clear and concisely, which is a shame. But it was really fun. Obviously, it's never going to go perfect, especially because it's my first time ever talking for that length of time. It was like a full like half an hour to 45 minutes. So um, I'm glad I did it though. And I think they all really enjoyed it. I just hope I didn't ramble some of my points. Like some of my points I really wanted to be like, this is really important. And I don't know if. I really made sense when I said them. So, I'm gonna head back to the car now. Back to the car, my feet are killing me. Oh my god. Can I rest this summer? Right, I'm not gonna drive for that there, but yeah. Um, 
I'm so thirsty. Oh my god. Ah, they gave me a drink, but I like downed it. I need more water. You're really fun. The girls there are so lovely. I'm moving to London. I've tied this one out. I'm moving to London in July, but it kind of makes me sad doing things like that because like having a connection there is so nice and they're such lovely girls. Um, yeah, it's a shame, but I'm so out of breath. I'm so thirsty. I really hope I didn't brag. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not a braggy person. I don't think I did. It's just when people ask you questions about things that you've got an opinion on, you've got knowledge on, then that's when I look back and I'm like, shit, did I come across like a know-it-all? Like, I mean, they were asking for my opinion, but... <laughs> oh dear. Morning. It's the following day right now. I'm just going to finish this vlog up because I didn't finish it when I got home last night. So I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And let me know if you've got any suggestions of like vlog style videos you want me to do in the future. Things you want me to discuss or talk about or show you in my life. I'm totally up for doing that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.